Hi everyone, welcome back to Chester Days Virtual Zoo Days um, and we are going to do an otter feed hopefully if they come running over Otters, come on! So this is our 11 o'clock feed Come on! So what they're doing, they've grabbed their fish and they're going to go and take it over to the pool and they'll give it a little wash and then they'll start munching away. So here at Chester we do have eight otters. We have Annie Wallace, who is mum and dad. And we have one older female called Mabel. And then we've got five otter pups. We've got three girls and two boys. One's, one's still looking at for its fish, I think. So here at Chester, we're quite lucky um, that we have two species of otter. So there's 13 in total. Um, we have the smallest and the biggest. So we have the giant otter, and we also have this family group of Asian short clawed otters. So we do give our otters four feeds a day. So with these guys, it's pretty much little and often, keep them busy. Um, and they are one of the only otters as well that doesn't use their mouth to hunt fish. See, this little one over here, he's watching the camera, he's wondering what's going on. So these guys will use their um, short claws. They also have shorter webbed feet as well. So they can hunt with their hands. So you'll see them, they'll go under the water and they kind of tap on the rocks and in the murky water. And it helps them find loads of little bugs, insects. They can also eat amphibians and reptiles in the wild. Um, and sometimes if there's a bird in the enclosure, they like to chase it. So that's all great enrichment for these guys. So these guys are really playful. They're really good for enrichment. Um, and they also like getting stuck into anything at all. So we try and mix up the enclosure every now and then. We'll move some logs. Um, these guys love a nice clean pool. Today what I've done, I've turned the fresh water on. So they can um, go up there, splash in the water. What are you doing? Coming over. This little one here. This is actually Dino. So this is the one that went viral. Everybody wanted to name this one. So Dino has just turned a year old, so there were the our pups were all a year old in November. How are you going? You can see one's gone in the pool looking for more food now. So I'll grab some crayfish and I'll show you just how good these guys' um, little toes are. You ready? So once they're finished their fish, they'll be straight in there. You can see just now what they're doing is they're using their um, hands to find the fish rather than going under the water and using their mouth. So mostly at Chester, what we feed our otters is they get mostly ro roach. Um, three times a week they get some trout as well. And then they get what, what this little one at the front here is eating. This is just um, crayfish. So you can see how easy it is. They just, they just put it in the back of their mouth and chomp down. They have really sharp back teeth. Really powerful jaws. So as I said before, these guys are, they're really great, really playful, creative little animals. Um, so we also try and mix it up a little bit. We don't just like to just throw their fish straight in the pool. 
So we've got these um, old school bamboo feet here. We'll pop them in and then that way they have to use their hands as I say to put their little hands in these um, holes and search for the fish, make it a little bit harder for them. So Asian short clawed otters are great little swimmers um, but they don't just, they're not just born and then they can swim straight away so when they're born they're pretty much really um, dependent on mum so they don't come out the holes um, which we have over on the wall there which is like their bed pens so they don't even, they don't open their eyes for five weeks and then they don't come out the holes at all until they're at least six or seven weeks um, so Annie, who's mum, she will have to go and hunt for the fish, go and get the fish, take it all the way back to bed, where she'll chew it up and she'll give it to the pups. Um, and then when it becomes the stage where the pups are old enough to come out and get their own fish, they can be a little bit cheeky. They like to come out and they like to pretend that they can't do it themselves and they still rely on mum and dad to get the fish. Um, but they can't, they can do it. So they push their luck a little bit with mum um, and then they will start, Annie will start teaching them to swim. So it looks a bit harsh. Um, it's a bit scary for the keepers to watch as well so she takes them into the pool she'll grab them by the scruff of the neck take them in the pool and then just leave them <laughs> so it's um, quite a scary time for us but otter pups their coat is that dense that they can't actually dive under the water so it's um, quite a helpful tool for Annie so these guys do have one of the densest fur of all mammals um, as you can see they do they do all get wet but then they come out and they've got two coats so the base layer has got made up of little air pockets uh, and then they've got this long coat on the top that you can see and that covers it to protect it a little bit so once they're finished in the pool they'll come out they'll give it a good shake good scratch on all these logs and then they also groom each other so it's quite nice to see They are all different as well, so you can see some of them's got little pink toes, so we can tell them all apart. Um, it was much easier when they were all different sizes, but now the otter pups are over a year old, it's getting a lot harder for us. The boys are definitely catching up on dad, dad's size, that's for sure. So wait, they're way up the back again to go and play in the fresh water. now is they're actually blocking the water so there's a little pool at the top there and they're all swimming in it and blocking the water from coming down so I think they've had all their fish and they're gone these guys do like um, as I say getting stuck into things so I'll hang this little bit of bamboo up and we'll see if they come back over they might not but hopefully they do So otters, they like, they like to, um, what they'll do is they'll grab hold of it, Annie's really good at it. She'll grab hold and then she'll do a death roll um, and then they'll take all the bamboo bits back to bed and make a mess. So they love it. They're I think they're deciding there might be more fish in the pool. So there's Annie in there, she's got a hold of it now. So they do like to destroy things. So 
all, it's all good fun in the outer world. You can see them running across these logs at the back as well. So this just proves how strong their jaws are. There's no way Annie's not um, gonna let go. So what she's doing now, she's just, I don't know if you can see, she's collected all the leaves that she's just broken off the bamboo. And then she usually runs backwards all the way back to bed. And then she stores them in the halt. So you can see they are heading back over, back to bed. Coming back. You coming back over? So these guys are very cute, um, but it's also getting them into a little bit of trouble um, in the pet trade. Because they are cute, everyone seems to want them as pets, and social media has got a lot to blame for that as well. Um, a lot of people get otter pups when they're so small and their eyes haven't opened. And this is so that they can bond with them a little bit. Um, but then otters, they do become these animals here. They are wild animals. So they do become a little bit trouble. Um, and then they end up having to go and get go into rescue centres. The things with otters as well is if they don't learn these Im important skills from mum and dad, they will never learn it. So it's been... I've seen a couple of things where um, a lot of these animals, these pets, that have been kept as pets and then when they get put back out into the wild they just they can't even, they don't know how to eat fish and they can't look after themselves properly so it's really, it's really sad. So they are st they're still being busy, still, still looking for some fish. They spend most of the time eat, looking, for, looking for food. So the pet trade isn't the only thing that's um, making life a little bit hard for these wild otters. It's also people looking for farming land and um, pollution and then also there is a lot of people out there poaching these otters um, to use their organs for um, Chinese medicine. Again, a lot of it's proven to not work but that's the way it is over there and um, they are native to southern China. Southern India and then um, Philippines. So as much as you see loads of places, loads of zoos in the UK especially do have these otters and most of them are family groups or parents. It doesn't mean that there's loads in the wild. Um, there's a Chinese nature reserve that has decreased from 1.36 million to 33 otters only in 10 years. So that's a massive amount of otters. Um, and if you can think that this was like back in the 70s, uh, there's 1.36 million otters just in that nature reserve, and now there's only 5,000 in the wild alone. So it's, it's really sad. So it is quite important that we keep pushing for conservation in zoos. And as you can see, they are great little creatures, so they are really fun. So what they're doing now is they're kind of starting to come out the pool. They might go back in right now, but they're starting to groom each other. 
they start to dry off and then they'll probably go back to bed for a nap. Even though that we are closed at the moment, um, I really hope that these virtual zoo days gives you a little bit of insight of what we're still doing here at the zoo. Um, we are still fighting for the cause. We are still working really hard here. Um, and our animals are obviously still enjoying themselves loads. But if you do feel like you'd like to help support the cause, um, there is a link along this video and you can click on there and you can find out more details there, how to help us. And I think that's pretty much us. I think the otters are nearly finished their lunch. I think it'll be time to pop along to Monsoon Forest and then you can get to see some amazing bugs. <laughs>